Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. He said, oh no, you can't do that with a cherry chocolate orange. And I said, you know what, as long as you relax and use a lot of, oh, hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Well, this week I'm going to be bringing you some stories about celebrities on uh, dancing shows, films, that kind of stuff. And we're also going to have um, a Crafty Queens. Oh, exciting. Mm, well... Well, crafty queens are not exciting. Mm. Um, and we even have a game you can join along with as well. But on screen now you can see all our social media info. Just search for at the Cud TV. And as people who have contributed to our social media names scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> There was an agony face then. I've had a sore back today. Ah, OK. Do you need an extra cushion? I don't have any cushions, but that's fine. Do you, do you want... Because the pain will only strengthen me. Good cushion. Is that helpful? Mm. I've got a new spine behind there, have you? Got another C, you've got a C no, cushion? No, that's fine. OK. Any drugs? <sighs> OK. So, exercising, not my favourite pastime. Yeah, um, I actively avoid the gym, but I don't even met, like, I still pay the membership. But oh, okay. Because I have to, sign a contract, going, I'm going to be healthy, and I've not been once. Um, but this is a man, about a man from Bournemouth, who decided to run a marathon. Okay. Directly after a stag do. Yeah. Um, he's Ollie Garrod from um, Surrey, who did it in seven... 70 minutes and five hours. What are you laughing at? Look at his face. That's not, that's a, that's not, that's a, <laughs> like I want to die, but I'm grinning. It's a, I'm so happy. I've just run so far. You really aren't. Yeah, his eyes are dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he said that he managed to do it because he didn't have much sleep, um, but he'd, he avoided alcohol on the stag do. He avoided alcohol on the stag do? Yeah. Did he really? I don't believe that. He didn't say he didn't consume any alcohol. He said he avoided it. Right. Yeah, um, but he did it with very little sleep, and he said that was the hardest part. Well, you know, well done him. Well done him. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have bothered. Just give the money to charity. Just, yeah, don't run. Mm. Get a bus, get an Uber. Mm. No way you need to run anymore. Yeah, I thought that was quite an impressive story until I thought about it. He went, actually, he just, he didn't even drink. If he'd have done it literally after a couple of beers. Yeah. Did he have a kebab? After the marathon? Or, or, or during? Before <laughs> the, um, on the sag night, I would imagine no. he probably did. No, he didn't have his kebab, because he wasn't that drunk. Oh, OK. Because he avoided alcohol, but yeah. Oh, I well. just think, it's like going, I was kind of impressed, and then going, but you've just ruined a good night out by having to run to the next day. Yeah. So. But he so said, good for him. Good for him, but no. Nah. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but moving on. Mm. Have you ever heard the phrase a Florida man? A Florida man? Yeah. No. Okay. So that is, you can you can literally Google the phrase a Florida man at any date, and it will come up with a, a suggestion of things that have happened in Florida that are not normal news stories. Mm. Okay. So I thought I'd Google I'd Google a date that's very close to your heart, with it being a birthday. Mm. Okay. And it came up with this little tidbit. Okay, It's about a Florida man who has been arrested um, after having sex with an ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, gentleman Terry Majors um, called up um, the emergency services saying he, need, he was having problems breathing, right? I needed to send an ambulance, right? So he sent an ambulance, mm -hmm. and when they arrived, he dropped his trousers and used the, an ice pack as a, a fleshlight kind of idea in front of the first responders who called the police because it was it's gross indecency. And um, the police came and went, yeah, you can't do that, and arrested him. OK, then. <laughs> wow. That happened, didn't it, it did in the world? Yeah. yeah. But you can literally Google a Florida man and then any date and it'll come up with a suggestion. My, mine was that a Florida man gets eaten by a crocodile. Oh, which is more 
Understandable. Was the ice pack frozen? No, it was, it was it was unfrozen. Oh, okay. So it was that soft, gooey. One of those squishy ones. Squishy ones. Oh, okay. That he wrapped around his member. Oh, okay. And plowed. <laughs> well, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to try it. You're not going to try it. No. 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 I don't. I don't feel <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Dead inside, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't have anything else to say about that. <laughs> you don't have anything else to say about that. No. Okay then. Um, well, if you've got something to say, ice pack or not, please share it with us at the Cud TV. And now we go to our story of the week. This is about a bush. A bush that is so overgrown and thick that it needs to be trimmed because it's stopping access to a dark passage. Oh, we've all been there. We've all been there. It's not just talking about me before the manscaping. Mm. Um, this is in Plymouth. Okay. I've never been. To Plymouth or to a manscaper? Plymouth. To Plymouth, okay. Um, this is in Plymouth where basically a massive hedge has grown over someone's back passage. <laughs> Is this news? <laughs> it is news, yeah. Um, because the, the, um, the um, ballard is in the way of the passage as well. Mm. This has caused outrage in Plymouth because okay. it, the massive bush is peop stopping people from gaining access to their passage. Right. So, do you want to see the actual offending bush? I, I, I don't think I have much choice to Correct. see. Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. Okay. It's a big bush. I don't think it's actually a bush, though. I think that might be a, a, a what's it, a buddleia. Okay. But yeah. It, um, at, you know, at the risk of sounding, you know, facetious, just cross the road. Which is what some people are having to do. Having um, to do. Having to do, because it's a long way to cross the road. Yeah. Um, it's a very unbusy road, so it's dangerous. Um, but what people are also saying is the fact that they have to pay a permit to park on the street, right? Mm. And they can't park the cars properly because they have to let people out and then park the car because the bush is in the way. The council have said, it's a bush. We'll get it trimmed, calm down. But residents are up in arms about it. They're saying that it's not fair that they have to spend £30 a year to park and not have access to their, their full parking space. Just cut the f***ing bush down yourself. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's what I was thinking. Is get this, is this with what, everything that is going on in the world... So upset about a bush. Just go and get a pair of scissors and cut it. Not nail scissors, though. I'll take you Not nail, not nail scissors. Or just set it on fire. We don't condone put setting things on fire. Because nobody wants permanently to permanently <laughs> solve the issue, I feel. No, Budleys grow back. You have to really kill Budleys. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Lee is quite clearly in a lot of pain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Either uh, emotional or physical, um, or both. <laughs> yeah. Do you have? Do you do you have a do you have an unruly bush? No. No. I'm not helping with this <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a bush, he says, just f***ing cut it. There isn't a, there's no ginnel. There's no, there's no, there's, it looked, in the first photograph, it looked like it was obstructing a passageway. It's just a road. It's just a path, yeah. It's just a road. Yeah, that's the other side, so you're looking at it because it's overgrown. So that's the where the wall is. Well, so you can't get down there anyway. Well, not now because the bush is over it. Mm. So that wall is the other side of the wall, from the other angle. Mm. It's, co it's covering the passage. Um, yeah, I think it's very serious and I hope they have found a resolution very, very soon. Mm. Um, and the word for that is sarcastic. Yeah. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Bushes. Serious. Thanks for that, Mike. Yeah. Bushes. See the flames behind me? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
side of my face. <laughs> Flames at the side of your face. Flames side of my face. Clue I, reference. I don't get it. You've never had a penis inside you. Well, we'll say more than one. Anyway, um, coming up after this short break, it's Lee and the Celebrity News. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Liam Mike. Now as his finger gets ready to scroll down that pad, it's time for Lee and the showbiz. Have you been watching Strictly? Not a massive fan of Strictly, to be fair. No. A bit boring, because it's just... Same old, same old, isn't it? Just people dancing around in a circle. Mm. <laughs> and celebrity, we've kind of reached the sort of sort of crumb toast draw level of celebrity Have now, we? haven't we? I don't know. It's not... like, you know, have you bought an album before? You can be on I'm a Celebrity okay. dancing thing. That's I'm a celebrity dancing thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I was a celebrity possibly on the dancing on ice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that kind of thing. Anyway. I have, I've not really watched it. I've, I've I kind of reached the limit of that. But it's not I, been the same since Brucey died. Is he dead? A little bit dead. Oh, okay. Just. Oh. Yeah, he hasn't just gone quiet. <laughs> like A lot of few of them died. have died, haven't they? Brucey, uh -huh. the Seven Man. Seven. He's dead. Oh, dead. He died as well, didn't he? Bruno Tullioni. No. Len Goodman. Len Goodman. Rest in peace. Yeah. Um, so, this year on the on the show, um, the, the reason it's keeping me interested is Leighton Williams is, is competing. I like Leighton Who is fantastic actor, singer, dancer, very out and proud. There now, is. that is a hot picture. He, he has grown into a handsome man. Gentleman, yes. yes. Anyway... Um, it, so he is, um, he's on the show, he is been teamed up with a male dancer, um, and what he's basically kind of saying is that he's, he's, he's getting a lot of stick online, so shockingly, mm -hmm. in this day and age, um, and basically what he's saying is that, you know, he's, he's, he's been, he's said he's got overwhelming amount of online support, mm -hmm. but he's also been getting an overwhelming amount of online trolling. Um, from people. Um, they, they're, they're actually doing really well on the show. I think they got like four nines or something the other week, nice. which, which is good. But people are kind of saying he has an unfair advantage because he is a trained dancer. He's been in musicals. He's, hey. you know, it, it's not just, a, it's not some random. It's not. And Widdicombe It's not and being winched the across the stage um, by a forklift truck. <laughs> dragged um, across by someone with a lot of strain and a slight hernia. Yeah, so a lot of low-key um, sort of trolling, and he's kind of like going, do you know what, I'm just here to have fun, like the other contestants. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to game plan of I was a dancer, mm -hmm. so therefore I am going to win it. I just want to have some fun. And there's probably a, quite a hefty paycheck attached to it as well. But let's not forget well, that. Well, they get they get paid for being in it, no matter how long they go in for. Do they? So they get paid for a, you know, for the the whole thing. So if they get knocked out week one, mm. yeah, they get paid the same as if they get all the way to the end. Oh, okay. It's the tour afterwards. It's that the tour afterwards. Rake, rakes the moolah that in. Rakes the money in for everybody. Um, so that's. And they only tend to put the 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 popular acts in the tour. Okay. So whether they won or not, they tend to go. The people that get the money in. So I've never been to one. So I've not been to one either because I don't really watch. The, yeah. It's, if it's on, I'll watch it, but I'll flip over if I can. Yeah. He said that I feel like the best way for me to represent the community is to be 100% authentically myself, whether that's how I dance, whether how I move, or just being how I represent in the real world that I want to bring strictly. I mean, he. I did catch a clip. I think we've got a picture of it the other week when they did like movie week, mm -hmm. and he was. Um, he did. Um, Grease, so he was Rizzo. Uh, <laughs> Grease. Um, <laughs> that was a choice, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but good for him. He's good he's him. he's authentic and he doesn't give a crap, And he's enjoying basically. himself. Um, um, just, you know, if you haven't got anything nice to say, just shut don't up. Don't say it. I saw a couple of things on, on what was Twitter. Um, I refuse to call it by his new name. Yeah. Um, but it, and it basically, it was responding to some of these hatred people. 
that are going, one of them was saying, oh, it does not represent me and as a member of the gay community. It's not a representation. And he kind of he just replied back, going, honey, I am. Well, and it's like... He might, not he might not represent certain aspects, mm -hmm. but he's still a representation of a of group himself. of people. So who gives, you know, you could say that about anybody that's gone exactly. and goes on Strictly. It's just wind your neck in. If you don't have anything nice to say, Say drink. Stick your penis say drink, in a mouse trap <laughs> and close it. Just do that. Remove the mouse first. But yeah, obviously. Yeah. Anyway, let's go on to something. I mean, yeah, good for him, and mm -hmm. I think he's fab. Yes, me too. Were you? Did you? Were you a Mean Girls fan? Did you enjoy the film? That's a, that has a gay following, doesn't it? It does have a gay the following. The meme. I, I do in so earlier in October. I, I was doing the whole quote from the, the film. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <I'm> evolved. <laughs> <sighs> I saw. <laughs> All right. I enjoyed myself. Okay. Um, but yeah, I like, I like Mean Girls. It's, well, it's, a, it's a piece of work that represents an era. An era, yes. Well, you're going to be very excited. Or oh. mildly interested, probably. Um, <laughs> so there, is, there is the Mean Girls, the musical movie, is set to hit our no. screens. No? No. No, there's, here's the poster for it. They've replaced the bit in the R with a with a note, a musical note. Um, groundbreaking. Groundbreaking, I know, yeah. Right. So the Paramount Pictures have, have announced that it's going to be in cinemas in early January next year. Okay, so um, they've already filmed it then. They've already filmed it. It was a stage musical. It, it's had incarnations of things. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to, apparently, 20, January the 12th is going to be so fetch. Um, stop trying to make it happen, people. Stop trying to make it happen, yeah. Um, it, so, yeah, the, the, it's none of the original cast are in it. A surprise. Surprisingly, because they're all older now. Um, there's, uh, there's, <laughs> I was about to say um, dead. <laughs> are any of them dead? Well, Lindsay Lohan's career, but... Well, she's just dead behind the eyes. Um, but, so, originally written by Tina Fey. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a, it was a big thing. It, it made um, something ridiculous like a bajillion pounds. The musical? Uh, no, the original film. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, the cinema. Uh, 2004, um, and $129 million at mm -hmm. the worldwide box office. We've, we've got a picture of the the new cast okay. that are going to be in um, the the musical. I don't know any of their names. They're I don't know what young. they're going to play. Well, the high schoolers, aren't they? I know, but normally when they get high, people to play high school, they're in the mid-40s. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> just to say that none of these are in the mid-40s. Um, That's true. I I don't know who is going to play who. I no, haven't researched it. Not that. a clue. Not a clue. Not a clue. Um, yeah. Do you so care? I don't care. I'm not keen on this. No. Me I don't neither. think I will be going to see it, unless it has good music. Otherwise, but all for that you just have to listen to the Mean Girls soundtrack, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's coming out. Um, but I thought it would be quite interesting to kind of see what the cast look like now, the original cast from the film look okay. like now. So so we've we've got a we've got a montage mm -hmm. of 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 how they look. Um so that's so bottom corner Gretchen Wiener, the uh -huh. character not not a real name. <laughs> uh, now she She's she's aged well. She's aged well. Um well then we've got we've got Daniel Franzisi. Mm-hmm. Um, who people it's... might know a lot from Drag Race. Mm -hmm. He does a lot on Drag Race. He's quite often a guest judge on Drag Race. Um, it's, it's, not, again, it's not... A bit berry. A bit berry. I can, I, can, I can see the vibe. A bit of an Italian stallion. I'd let him spit in my mouth. I don't like you saying that. <laughs> um, and then, then we've got Jonathan Bennett. Um, who played the love interest. Uh -huh. Coincidentally, both Daniel and Jonathan are homosexuals. Mm -hmm. Um, um, and, and he also does a cake show. He does do a cake show. Yeah, so it's got win-win. Which is... Cake it, and gay. Yeah, they it's, make, it's like, atrocious. really horrible cakes that atrocious. fall to pieces. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, of course, we've got Lindsay Lohan, who who, who now looks like a, a, an unwrapped mummy. Um, <laughs> bless her. Um, you know when you find a chocolate that's been in the car, right? Like, in a, like a, a miniature hero kind of thing, like a bounty or yeah. something? Yeah. And it's been in when it's got hot and then it got cold. Yeah. And you open it up and the top's a bit melted and a bit weird, but that's, that's what her face looks Lindsay like. Lindsay Lohan, is it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, bless, she's, bit... had, she's had her trials and tribulations. She has had a tough life. Um, and I think she's recently had a little baby. Good for her. So good for her. She's turned her life around ish. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It's, to an extent. It's to an extent. Um, he's looking good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good I'd for her. Have a go. 
Good for them, good for their aging, good for their surgeons, good for it all. <laughs> good for Botox, hooray. So if you, if you fancy seeing that film, just stream it, probably. <laughs> it's just available at some point. At some January point. the 12th, is Yeah. That? Um, let's, let's go on to another, another film that's coming out quite soon. Mm -hmm. Susie Eze... A new film that's coming out quite soon. Susie Eddie Izzard okay. is making her debut role since announcing that she was transitioning. Okay. So she's going to be starring in a film called Dr. Jekyll. Um, and it's produced by Hammer Horror, which is massively famous from like the 60s, 70s, 80s, making these horror films. Um, and um, in the film, she plays a, a woman and it's all about kind of, so it says it's an isolated mansion, a mysterious locked room, creepy corridors, a dusty cell, a bit like your house, a mad doctor, when ex-convict Scott takes his career position in the infamous Nina Jekyll. Nina Jekyll. Nina Jekyll. You say that a lot, it sounds strange. Nina Jekyll. Nina Jekyll. Like my house? Yeah. <laughs> you know, dusty and dark. My dark bedroom isn't dark. Twinks trapped in door, in rooms they can't get out of. Um, in, in rooms they can't get out of. Mm, yeah. Well, yeah. And, and, um, and bears as well. Cause... So it's Nina Jekyll mm -hmm. and Rachel Hyde. Okay. And it's, it's, so it basically follows the, 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 the story of the original film mm -hmm. um, with, I think he plays some sort of like... Love interest? Not love interest, but he, he plays her assistant and kind of finds out stuff that's going on. I would, I, I'm actually, I want to go and watch that. I'm a, I'm a... Stream it when it comes out. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot to take me to get out to the films nowadays. I see, I like a cinema trip. Dark room, strange men. No, that's not a cinema. No. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. I've just described a sauna, haven't I? Or a dark room. Or a dark room. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for that, Lee. Stick around, because coming up, we have a quiz for Lee in our Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this week we're going to play Ooza Kazoo. And this one is for our very favourite person with a spiky hat. It's Lee. Bye. Game of the Week. So Lee's got a kazoo and a list of things he's going to blow into it. Are you ready, Lee? Mmm. Can't find my um, can't, crack kazoo. Can't find your crack kazoo? Mmm, my disco ball kazoo. Is it? No. No. It's gone. It's gone. Um, would you like a clue about the tune before I play it or not? I think play the tune and then I get it. If I, okay. if I need it, I can get it. All right. Doja Cat. No, it's not a pop song. Oh, okay. It is a theme tune. Theme tune. For a program. <laughs> It might start off with Puppets. Puppets. Bumbles. No. Stingray. Huh? Stingray. I'm along the same Joe line. Joe 90. Huh? Joe 90. No, the one that came first before all of them. Captain Scarlet. No, it was Thunderbirds. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to stick with I'm going to stick with theme tunes. I think. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Inspector Gadget. It was Inspector Gadget. I, do you know what? These 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 choices, of, I'm staying with theme tunes. Because you know them. Because I know them <laughs> and they're good. Yeah. 
The bill. No. One is no longer with us. But one is still here. This morning. That's them saying. Bill and Ben. No. Oh. No. No. That was Chuckle Vision. Oh, right, okay. By the Chuckle Brothers. Barry and Paul. I don't know that one, so I'll do the I'll do the one at the top. That's just a children's song, okay? Children's song. Children's song. <laughs> Incy Wincy Spider. No. Today would not be the day. Today would not be the day. To invoke the rage. Okay. <laughs> Why? Just just putting it out there for people. People watching the first part may have got a vibe <laughs> from Cause you, you've hurt my your back. presentation. You've hurt your back, haven't you? I just have hurt life. <laughs> life has just got me down, man. Um, so, saying all that, would you like to make a guess? The Wombles? This is why I'm not allowed on the Samaritan's helpline. No, it was the wheels on the bus. Oh, the wheels on the bus, okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Biker, grow! Oh, God. No! <laughs> Isn't Biker Grove? <laughs> Did you say pissing Biker Grove? It's not Biker Grove. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> what is it then? It's Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. That weren't turtles; they were tortoises. Were they? Yeah. Because they had they had they had hands and things, and tortoises have and turtles. They had have, hands. Turtles have flippers. Yeah. Oh, well, they were mutant. So they were allowed. But even in like when in the story part of the opening credits, they still had clumpy bits instead of flappers. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for a pop song now. Just going to mix it up oh, a little okay. bit. Kylie Minogue. No. Okay. <laughs> That went on longer than I was expecting. It. Well, I was into feeling it, so I thought I would yeah, go on. I, I was over sweating, so I'm a bit dizzy. Um, is that that one from Take That that did that song? Yeah, it was the fat dancer from Take That. Okay, so it's Gary Barlow. Ooh, the other one. <laughs> Ace and Orange? Robbie Williams, you know it is. Good Angels. One. Um, oh, coincidentally, um, Ronan Keaton. No, I've, I've moved on now. Something oh, okay. else. <laughs> um, and weirdly, I've completely forgotten the chorus. To what? To um, this song. Okay. Rain coming On down, me. wearing fur coats in the rain as you do, straddling a wet car. Shania Twain, that don't impress me much. No. It was uh, it was back for good, 
I take that. Oh, we'll be back. Um, okay, let's go back to theme tunes. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Cruising with Jay McDonald. <sighs> no, Mike, it's not. No. It was um it was the original theme from Scooby Doo. Did they have a non-original theme? Did it have a what? Have a non-original theme? Um it may have had variations over the years. Okay, let's go for another thing, Jim. <laughs> That would be the theme tune from Dad's Army. I hate you. Is it not? No. That was genuinely my answer as well. Uh, well, that was wrong. Okay, what was it? It was the theme tune to Cut to Top Cat. Um, okay, this is a this is a song, a, okay. a pop song. <laughs> So at one point of that, I thought you were singing Pussycat Pussycat. Yeah. And then it went to some other place. It wasn't, it's not called Pussycat Pussycat. It's not. It's called What's New Pussycat. Okay. And then I did a little bit of the verse. And then you add the Pussycat Pussycat. I love you. Yes. yes I, I do. do. Um, okay. One. Pop song. Okay. <laughs> Happy Don't Preach by Madonna. Ah, oh, f you piece of <laughs> It was, it was Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. <sighs> okay, and as I f off because I'm a piece of um, stick around because coming up next we have Lean Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now place your head between your legs and hold on for dear life as you brace for Crafty Queens. That's autumn, Mike. Yay, I like autumn. Pumpkin spice lattes. Ugh. Kicking in the leaves and the dog jumping in puddles that doesn't realise they're so deep and going quite deep. Oh, sticking those chestnuts up your bottom. That kind of thing. That's more of a sun, that's more of a winter thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Not conkers. Conkers is more of an autumn. No, but thing. eating them is more of a winter thing. Oh, okay. Things with his ass. So, we're going to make something lovely. Because I don't know about you, but I've, as the evenings draw in, I like nothing better than lighting a few candles and having a wank. And uh, <laughs> yeah, having a candlelit wank. Um, as the leaves fall outside. So to, to, to create a bit of ambience for that. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> it, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we're going to create a, a lovely autumnal themed um, candle. I thought you were uh, about to say flashlight then. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, using the, 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 the method of decoupage. Decoupage? Is that decoupage. not that part of your neck? Yeah. So you've got a candle. It's not a real one. Don't use a real candle. Use a battery operated one because you probably set fire to the... I always prefer something battery operated the real thing. Mm, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not going to turn mine on until the end because I don't want to spoil it for people. But, you know, candle. whatever choices. Um, you've, got a, you've got a selection of things in front of uh -huh. you. Um, and I'm just going to take you through the first bit and then you, can, then you can just let your imagination go wild. Oh, exciting. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of corrugated cardboard there. Uh-huh. In, in, a, in a lovely khaki brown colour. Khaki. Which is the official colour of autumn. So you're gonna you're gonna get your candle, uh -huh. and you're gonna wrap, roll it even. 
that's not cold. Is this the first time you've used a glue gun? No, it's not. But I'm, I'm trying not to swear. I stopped you before. So, okay, so that, that is the first stage. You've, you've got some white uh, corrugated card. I do, yeah. That you want to place so that it is around the middle of okay. your candle, so that there's a little hint, a little hint of brown. <laughs> That's the name of your autobiography, <laughs> isn't it? At the top and the bottom. A hint of brown at the bottom. And a little bit of, and a little hint of brown at the top. Just to kind of, uh... la la la. Oh no, it released itself. So you, you're a big fan of the pumpkin spice, are you? I, I like a pumpkin spice latte. Ugh. Have you got the white on? The white is on. Okay, now you've also got a strip of black. Okay. And this is, so if you want to wrap that around the middle as well. Okay. Uh, um, so that you can have equal, equal bits of why? It just gives it a little bit of contrast. Um, okay. For, for oh, oh, what's this skill called? Frottage? This is called decoupage. Not frottage, then. I mean, you could decoupage whilst frottaging. Um, well, not with a hot glue gun, you can No, not with a hot glue gun. <laughs> You'll end up with a, with, a, with a boil on your bell end. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Well, oh, some people might. <laughs> I've just got to hold that momentarily. So, so this the adhesive. You know what? We nearly got through an episode without a Mrs. Doubtfire reference. <laughs> we didn't, <laughs> but we nearly did. There's always a Mrs. Doubtfire reference in at Crafty Queens. Always. Um, and then... Okay, yeah. I, I provided you with some sparkly kind of brown... Sparkly brown. Sparkly brown. I'm going to say more of a... Yeah, that's nice. Um, I'm going like to choose to wrap that round the the middle of the thing. Though, so, see what we're doing? We're building layers. Well, it Mike. doesn't reach. It, well, you've got two bits. Okay. So just you know, use your initiative. Because that is that is what decoupage is, layer initiative. upon layer. Now these candles have indeed come from 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 my house, from my wall sconces. What did you call me? I have wall sc oh, um, and I had to put new batteries in them. Okay, so you thought we'll use them for crafty queens. Yeah. So I would like to take them home with me. So please do a good job. You can take it home with you, even if it's a batch. He burned. He did burn himself. A huge glob of glue fell off because it didn't stick. Oh. So yeah. And hit on my ring, which is metal. A Timu ring. No, this is the one that I got from the 40th. Oh. You know, he wanted a good job. Can you see this? Look, 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 look. What? It goes up and down. It does indeed. Well, mine won't because I glued it to the candle. Oh. Well. Never really. My candle. So that's your base. Okay. Are you are you, are you still gluing on it? I'm, I'm still gluing on because I've got lava to use. So yeah, okay. once you once so you've got that, that do I have provided you with a selection of um, leaves and autumnal foliage. Um, there may be even a fox in there. I have some, some gems of a an orange um, nature. Just go for it, Mike. Decorate it however you want to. Okay, do you have a bin bag? <laughs> Decorate it with the bin bag? No. Do you have one of those autumn leaf wreaths on your door? No. They're very popular, aren't they? With whom? Who are they popular with? People. Okay. Not seen one. Oh, well, you do live in Manchester, so. Um, oh. I'm sorry, we can't have a booths at the end of the road. <laughs> it's it's very American, isn't it? What, a booths? No, no to have a wreath. An autumn wreath. Re yeah, it's not something I've really got into, is wreaths. I mean, Christmas, I might venture for a wreath. But... Oh. That's not really my bag, to be fair. I've got a little sleepy 
with the sleepy fox on my the front of mine. Okay. Very therapeutic, isn't it? Mm. Well, third degree burns on the finger, so not really. What, what is your candle candle scent of choice, Mike? Um, I quite enjoy something quite light, like a, a vanilla or a cotton. Um, but over the Christmas period, I do change to a mulled wine. Oh! Because the house already smells like mulled wine at Christmas time, so I might as well just pretend it's a candle rather than a drink problem. Oh, okay. So a vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Um, I used to have a mango one, but they've discontinued it. Outrageous. What about you? What's your, what's your choice? I enjoy a coconut. Okay. I enjoy something tropical. Okay. I enjoy fruity. Fruit tea? Fruity. Something fruity. Something that evokes... Oh, that's not going to stick on. Um, put that there. Um, you know, anything really that's nice. Oh, okay. I'm not keen on the ones that smell of food. Oh, like the, the ice cream ones and stuff. Yeah. What about your bathroom? Do you have a flavoured one in your bathroom? Um, in my bath, my bathroom? Mm -hmm. Well, anything really, just to cover the smell of shit up. Oh, okay. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Are you, are you not choosing to embellish with, with gems? I have I have used gems. You have used gems? Shall we shall we turn them on and, and, see, and turn the lights down low? Okay, then. Don't get your cock out, though. It's not the time and place. Oh, what a beautiful shot. You can see the fire glowing on the tabletop. Beautiful. Oh, the ambience, Mike. Them lights went down. I felt a, I felt a twitch down below. It's like Pavlov's dogs. Do you get a twitch where you hear about Pavlov's dogs? No, no, and you know, like Pavlov's dogs, like the, the, as soon as a, a candle goes on, I'm ready. Remember, if you can't get yourself any hard peen or any wet vagine, be a crafty queen. Lovely though, isn't it? That was very relaxing. Was it? Very peaceful. Do you know what? You take the mick out of this. 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 I'm not taking the mick out of, of this. this, but in general, Crafty Queens. But we've had feedback paid on social feedback. media. Not paid feedback, voluntarily. People have said but no, how much <laughs> they <laughs> enjoyed the dolphin bananas. Two people said they're cute. And two people is, is a huge thing. And people that. that, know and you in real that life. That feedback has meant that Crafty Queens is going to go on forever now. And that's your fault. <laughs> oh, shit. You're backfired there, haven't oh, you? Oh, crap. Back, back to bowls from bowls next week. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. But remember, you can join us on our social media at thecud.tv. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.